Okay, so this is your tutorial on how to navigate um, the page um, when you're trying to change your settings and so on and so forth. So um, in the settings, you'll see that um, here's my act. These are nine dots that I've been talking about, the nine squares um, that will open up different things. Um, the schedule for one, the web shop, um, workout, so on and so forth. So those are the nine dots where you need it. Also, you'll see body metrics. Um, you should see those as well when you click on the nine dots. Um, here's my fitness points, the minutes I've traveled, um, minutes of exercise, um, the calories I've burned since opening, um, creating my account, all of my stats, um, I've got a few more things uh, to complete on my profile. Um, and this is the challenge. This is the SDX challenge. So um, I'm going to show you all how to do your weights. Um, it shows me, uh, me how many groups I'm in, my achievements. So if you click on the achievements tabs, it'll show you the different achievements. And there's so many badges. Um, you all will absolutely love that. So for the for December, it says I was in the top 5%. Um so on and so forth, I burnt 5,000 calories. I've written 10 messages. There's so many things. Um, burn 1,000 calories. I took my first step. So on and so forth. Um, and so when you hit the plus right here, it will show you um, how to enter in your metrics. So I just put for a value just to see how it works. Um, my I have not been on the scale yet, so I don't know what it really is. But I just put 155 because that's how I'm feeling. And you can add it um, on your prog on, on the graph. And so eventually you'll be able to see over time, over each slim down, you'll be able to track your progress. And I think that's going to be fantastic for y'all because you'll be able to see how well you're really doing. And it should be going down consistently, gradually, um, consistently going down over the month. So I think this is going to really help us see it. Um and then your progress tracker. So every Monday, you'll come in the progress tracker and you'll enter in your weight. Um, you'll hit plus or whatever. I already have one. And then the date will change. You'll enter it in every Monday. You enter your weight and the BMI automatically calculates. And then you'll hit save and it will let you know um, exactly how you're doing on the grab as well as it will update in your challenge. So let me go hit the back button. Um, to go back, I'll go back, uh-oh, I'll go back again to my home screen, and I wanted to show you all how to sync your Fitbit. You'll hit the down arrow, go to account settings, you'll go, I, while before you do that, I would encourage you to go ahead and change your personal information. Your display name should be your government name, um, first, last, birth date. Um, shows in inches and pounds um, for the metrics. I think everybody is U.S. So use that, your weight. Um, and then if you want to go um, to connections, you can go to connections. And that's where you'll see the Fitbit sync. So if you have a Fitbit, you'll just click connect under the Fitbit. And it'll prompt you to log in with your Fitbit account and it's going to sync it. Um, if you have Twitter, you can connect that. Um, I'm not a Twitter person. I have one, but it's not that serious for me to connect. Life Fitness is your Google Fit. I think it is your Apple Watch. Um, it's a host of other things. Uh, nothing comes up when I hit this. Um, it doesn't say anything, but this is where you'll find your Apple Watch um, connection. It won't be as detailed as Fitbit. I'm sorry, um, but... It will give you some of the information. If you're going to be using both Fitbit and Apple Watch, then definitely connect your Fitbit. Um, privacy, you can change some of the things to where um, um, if you don't, I don't think people will be going to your pics, but if you want to put it to employees of my network, then you're more than welcome to because that's where you're going to upload those. Um, I just left mine public because I just don't think people have the time to go do all that. Um, but you can... Everything I have set, these are my settings. Um, the leaderboard visible for my club, um, anyone in the community, the exercises. And our community is sassies and slim down. Progress pictures, nutrition. Can you send messages? Um, all of that. So those are the um, my settings. 
um, email settings, all those things. Everything you need is here. Now, let's see if we can get to, um, I was going to see if the notifications, um, if I could show you all how to do notifications. I don't see it. I may have to do it in another one. Um, but for right now, also you can change your, um, you can change your post to, um, change and update your cover. So if you want to use the ones that they've already given you, you can use that. If not, you can choose your own cover, um, to upload. And I just selected a, a, a class pick, but there's other ones or you can make your own, um, for your profile. And, um, I think that's it for this tutorial. I try to want to keep them under six minutes. So this should give you enough to do um, over the next day um, so that tomorrow I can give you the rest of your information.